Hi, this is Patty Contenta with Ask an Expert, answering your love and sensuality questions. In the past few years, I've put on some weight, and while I do want to lose it, I know it's going to take me a while. Should I put off dating until I do? Will I attract the wrong guy if I'm a little heavier when we meet? What saddens me the most is a woman who's willing to put off her dating life till she loses weight, until she's thin enough. And if you take out the word thin, it can almost be interpreted as if she's enough. And really, that's the last thing that I would want for you. You really need to be authentic with who you are and show up as who you are. Because out there, there are men that enjoy a curvaceous woman. And so if once you become comfortable with that, then you may attract the kind of men that will respect that about you. Because right now, if you continue on this kind of thought thinking that you want to wait till you lose weight and you're not thin enough, you only attract the kind of guy that sees what you're not happy about. And that's just going to make you feel worse because you're going to feel that in his energy. And you don't want to hide out in your apartment until you're perfectly ready because dating helps you practice being a fun and flirtatious woman. So it doesn't even have to have an outcome, but just use it as an excuse to practice being more of yourself and being comfortable with your body. That's what's really important. Don't put any kind of pressure that every date has to have an outcome. Like, is he going to be the one? Is he going to be my life partner? No, just treat it as practice to be flirtatious and playful until the right guy does come along and then you've tweaked everything and you own it right so that's really important and it does start with you so i really would also ask you to widen the way you look at beauty change the way you look at it you know you want to attract the kind of man that perhaps can look at you and respects you and adores you and makes you have fun and he might not look the way you expected him to look so learn to see beauty in other people and other things so every time you have a conversation with someone look at them and listen and and look at what's special about them look at what makes them unique and your energy is going to change and they're going to sense that so i suggest those two things first and foremost is go out there and date and practice until the right guy shows up and in the meantime you learn to get comfortable with your body and two change the way you look at beauty because we can look at other people and judge them but it starts with ourselves also so begin to look at men differently other women differently things around you differently and so what I'm going to leave you today is with a tip on how you can make a simple thing like when you're having a conversation on that first date and you meet him at a coffee shop and you're about to sit down and continue this conversation, you know that moment where you walk in and you're standing and you see him, you say hello and what do you do next? So I'm going to show you what to do. So we're at the moment where we're at the coffee shop and we're about to meet the guy on our date. So before you actually take off your sweater, because that's usually the first thing that we do, I need you to understand that every action that you do when you're a sensuous woman must be slow because if you do too quickly, the man will miss it. So it's really important if your role is to create an enticing, alluring woman, you're comfortable with taking your time. So the first thing you're going to do is when you take off your sweater, you're going to do it slowly. You might even gently arch your back. You might look over your shoulder because you want him to understand that you're taking off your jacket and then you rest it on the chair. Good? Don't just hurry up and take it off. Then when you're about to sit down, I don't just want you to sit down and then kind of slump over because that's what's going to happen if we're not paying attention to how we sit. I'd like for you to think about your lower lumbar and really sticking out your behind pushing it out, putting your hands on your thighs, and when you sit, have a moment where you create a little arch in your behind, and your chest will be out, and you just gave him a little pleasurable moment with his eyes, and then you can continue having the conversation and maybe play with your scarf and use your accessories to kind of touch slowly as you talk with him. These are all little fun and flirtatious tips, but they do go a long way. I do it all the time, and there's nothing more wonderful than seeing a smile on a man's face, and he doesn't know why, he kind of knows something's going on, but he enjoys it, and so should you. So when you go on that date, start with how you take off your sweater, how you sit down by sticking your behind a little bit further out than usual, arching your back, touching your thigh on the way down, and maybe playing a little bit with your accessories, whatever they may be, as you're having a conversation with him. And remember, slowly, because that's what being a sensual woman is about. Connect with me at yourtango.com slash experts slash Patty Contenta.